Hi, welcome to Bobbins and Bows of Bear YouTube tutorial for yarn forward, yarn around the needle, yarn over the needle. So I, um, I'm going to explain the difference between each one of those. It gets quite complicated when um, people change these around a little bit and uh, call them something else or um, it just gets a little confusing. So I thought I would put it in one video, the difference between them. Um, so we'll start with yarn forward. So yarn forward is usually used on a knit row. So it's used between two knit stitches. So all of these yarn forward, yarn around the needle and yarn over the needle are used to create a hole or an eyelet. It's an increased stitch. Often it's used with a decreased stitch so that your stitch count stays the same and you get an eyelet. Uh, occasionally it's just used as an increase. So we'll keep it simple. Yarn forward. <laughs> So it's used on a knit row, so I'll knit a couple of stitches, so yarn forward, you bring it through the needles and then you knit and this is where it creates a stitch by bringing the needle back, the wool back over and knitting the stitch so there you get your increase. I'll just do another one, so I'll knit a couple of stitches there. So you bring your, needle, your yarn through the needles to the front and you knit. So there your increases. Okay, so that's the yarn forward. So the next one is the yarn around the needle. So that's on a purl row. So I'm going to swap to a purl row. So this is a purl row. So I'll show you the yarn round the needle. This is done on a purl, so I'll purl a couple of stitches. So then we yarn around the needle, so we take the needle, the yarn, <laughs> round the needle, so it's back in the purl position, and we purl. So it's nice and easy, it creates a new stitch. So there's your, your new stitch there, see it would create the hole. Okay, so we do another one, so we bring the yarn from the front over the needle and round back into the purl position and we knit a purl. <laughs> I will get you confused saying knit all the time. So we take the yarn from the front over the needle back to the purl position and purl again. Okay, so yarn around the needle is used on a purl row. So then we've got yarn over the needle which is used between a knit and a purl row. So I'll show you that one next. Okay, so this is my sample piece for the yarn over. So I've done three knit, three purl. So like I was saying, the yarn over is used between a knit and a purl, or a purl and a knit. I don't like doing this, it kind of looks a bit messy, but it doesn't look messy once you've done it, but it feels messy when you're doing it. So knit and the, and the purl there. So you put your, need, your right needle into the left to purl without bringing your yarn over yet. So you put it into the purl position like that. Then you bring your yarn over to purl. So it looks a bit strange at first, but once you've done your knit stitch, you end up with this extra bit here, like that. So you knit across, or purl across to where you change to a knit. Okay, so we're going to knit and then we yarn over to knit and that creates the extra stitch. Like that. So I knit those two and I'm back going to swap to a purl. So you go into purl and then you yarn over the needle do your purl stitch and that's your extra stitch there. Okay, so I hope that helps and makes it a little bit easier to understand the difference between yarn forward, yarn around the needle and yarn over the needle. Now if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.